The first benefit is obviously the cash. If you have a plan to use that money, then getting that money is actually going to move your business forward. But beyond that, there are ancillary things that you should think about that you could get. Is that investor have a list of connections that are important for your vertical? Do they have a list of potential customers that they have personal contacts to? Do they have an expertise in a, in a certain operational area that they could lend advice to? These are the types of things that you can get. But you have to also be careful and understand that your investor is an investor. They're not joining your team as a founder. They're investors first. So don't overplay the fact that they may have expertise in a particular area because they're not going to be there every single day. That's not what you're getting out of them. So it's a, it's a fine line there. They're important and they can be very helpful, but, they, but don't think that they're going to come in and be there every single minute.